Granola from Dragon Ball. If you don't read the manga, you probably won't know who this guy is, so I won't give anything away. Let's just get right into it. I'm on the landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these. Sketch it out lightly so you can erase your mistakes. And then you can do ink on top after, try have fun. So we start with his eye, typical Dragon Ball eye, right? So we're gonna start with this check mark. About, say, center point of my page about here. He's got big hair, so we'll just come down a little bit. And we'll just do this sort of check mark or tick going across the top of his eye and sort of curve down the back a little bit. Typical Dragon Ball eyebrow, kind of like the Saiyans there, right? And he, I think he can have some lines at the end. Then we taper it back. So we get smaller as we go down, smaller, 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 down to there. I always have to hold my breath when I do things like that, right? And you could have like an extra sort of frown line just here. His eye isn't kind of, well, in this image anyway, it's not like a standard Saiyan eye, okay? So we do have a line there, right? But it comes out from here. And then it goes down like so, okay? And then you join it together. So there. Okay, so slightly different than what we're used to in Dragon Ball. And then his iris, coming down from his eyebrow, you just do a circle around here. And then his people in the middle, just a black circle in there. So, he has a lens, right? If you know the character, he's a lens around here and it's a circular object. If you have something circular that you can draw around that will help you like a stencil, feel free, right? Don't feel bad about using things like that. But if not, you could try and do it freehand, which I'm gonna to attempt to do. And I'm just gonna mark it out, right? So top of the circle will be about here, bottom here, side of it will be here, other side there, right? So they're about equal distance from one another, and then we'll try and just curve it together. And I'll do it sort of sketchy at first, just so we can line things up, and then I'll try and smooth it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want it perfect, use a compass or a stencil. Okay, so something like that, right? And I'll just try and like clean this up a little bit. That's roughly the size we're dealing with. Right, like that. And then he's another blue circle inside, so you just go around again, best you can. Tracing the inside, but smaller. Right, and then he's another line inside again, so you just go around again. Like that, and then circles in there. Like so. So this strap comes across his head, okay? So we gotta draw that in. So there's a line that just comes across the top here. And then we will bring it down. And then it's longer on this side, okay? And then this goes diagonally underneath the edge and then back around to here. So this has leather sort of stitching and stuff all around this edge. Just 
show that it's kind of sewed there and then he has a buckle that comes across like a strap and a buckle that comes across here so just above like his eye on this part right we have the buckle the golden buckle right so it's like clipped together here little oval shape and then the golden square buckle itself just comes across down my covers eyebrow a little bit but you, you can erase anything that you shouldn't see and then the inside there so then there's a brown leather strap that goes around his head so this goes around his whole head you know it's like strapped onto his head so it goes out to about here you know it goes disappears kind of into his hair somewhere past his eyebrow here and you might have like some patterns and stuff drawn onto it dots and things like so right so his nose so just kind of left to center we'll just go down from here and we'll kind of hook it around typical dragon ball nose and we draw in the shadow so the shadow we always saw the side of the nose gets drawn in usually in dragon ball like that and then his mouth real close to his nose just there and kind of like hooks down the back either side and then we have those check marks on his cheeks those little sort of sketchy face marks maybe you can see a little bit there so we can't see his chin but we can see a little shadow kind of underneath his bottom lip kind of this kind of thing and because we can't see his chin we're just going to draw in his scarf that covers the chin so it kind of curves around here like this goes around the back of his face so his jaw will come out from here on that side come out from here on this side and the jaw usually stops sort of the edge of the eye seeing across from the mouth depending on the character's head tilt but across from this area bottom of the nose or the mouth that's where you want to stop this line okay so then you change direction up side of his face up the side of his face and you have a sideburn here so his neck will come down into this there there and then his ear will come out from up here somewhere big ears and dragon ball like so and they have lines and stuff on the inside to show those sort of ear lines and things so his ear on the other side is covered by this gray thing like a cover like that right you can't see the top of it because of his hair so his hairline comes out from up here, comes down, you might have some texture lines just going there, and then it goes around the other side. And then his hair, so it's kind of like Super Saiyan, but wavy, really curly sort of wavy hair, right? So we'll go out like that. And this will come back in then there's another one here now hair moves so don't worry if you don't get it exactly like mine just want to get the general shape growing up and sort of wavy so a smaller one just in behind here and then a real big one nearly up to the top of the page and back down Another one here. One in between. Goes in behind and in between these ones. And then another one 
there. And then here. And then zoom in behind his ear here. It's more over this side as well. All right, so now you just have to add the texture all over. So each of these, you just sort of follow sort of the shape for each sort of spike and textures coming off. Similar to the sand hair, just more sort of curved, right? You can do that as much as you want. Okay, so I think that's enough for me. So now we'll just do the rest of his scarf. So it kind of bumps down around here. So it bumps because of the folds. So when you're drawing fabric, you gotta make sure you put the folds in as well. And so that's our general shape and then some fabric stretch lines here. So it's wrapped around his neck, so you gotta go sort of follow the curvature around. Like so. Shoulders, so he's got like a vest and then the shoulders come out from underneath the vest. So this goes out here. And normally shoulder width in the character is head width, right? So a male is three heads over and a female is like two and a half. So like the width of his face out will bring you to the edge of his shoulder, his shoulder muscle, right? And he's skin tight clothes, so that's basically his shoulder muscle. So not his ears now, his face, boom. See, then you do that again, boom, roughly there to the edge of his shoulder, okay? And you know, it depends on like the body position and everything, but that's roughly what we give you. Make his bicep there. And it depends on if he's walking and, you know, cause sometimes if the character's walking, one shoulder's back, one more shoulder's forward, but in general, right there. You could bring that one wider if you wanted, but that looks fine to me. Okay, so this can be down. There. Scarf hanging down, and then his vest is like closed over with buttons. So more circles. Some underneath here. Some clothes lines like that. But that's it, guys. That is how to draw granola from Dragon Ball. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.